All right, we got a new stack to check out. Uh, this is by T-Motor. So their foreign one that's in here, it's been out for a little bit. Um, actually, this is the V2, so it's, it's actually not that old, but um, I'm not sure about the flight controller because I don't know why they, oh, okay. So it's their F4 and then the V2 of the 45 amp. Okay, so I've used that one recently. Um, actually I had one have a have a ESC go bad hopefully that was a fluke but other than that I'm always a huge fan of T-Motor uh, foreign ones they make just the best along with their motors I mean their motors their foreign ones are just the greatest but this is a full stack full size 30 by 30 um, their F4 flight controller is pretty new it did just come out like a month ago or something uh, it's a very nice flight controller um, I don't remember, I think, uh, yeah, it uses the ICM 20602, so it's not the MPU 6000, so, uh, of course, they give you the gummies and stuff. Anyway, let me open it up first before we go through the specs, and we'll check it out. Comes in this nice plastic case that you can use for other things which is nice. I have a drawer full of these types of little boxes. <clears throat> All right, let's see what you get. You get some stickers, you get the quality control, pass, card. Yeah, this is the V2 4-in-1, okay. It's cause you can tell because it has the LED right there. All right, so there's the foreign one. Uh, I'm not sure if I reviewed this before. I don't think I have. It's a 6S. Uh, what is? It's a, obviously a 45 amp. Um, I think it has a pretty high burst rating. Let me see. Um, burst is 53 amp for 10 seconds. So that's that's really good. As usual, super high quality. Everything looks amazing on it. You got the gummies going through it. Looks like they're using little smaller gummies. Little tiny ones. Pads on both sides for the battery cable as well as pads on both sides for the motors, which is just awesome. I love seeing that. Uh, and then you got that LED in the middle, which is really nice because you don't usually see an LED for power on a foreign one. So there's that. And by the way, this is $100 for this stack. So you get a nice little um, spacer board that you can use to put your VTX on or whatever to go on the stack. That's pretty nice, it's super thin. So it's like light as a feather. Here's the flight controller. I don't think I've shown this before. I have used it before though. Um, very nice flight controller. So you have your camera and VTX both in the front. Uh, normally you'd see the VTX stuff back here and the camera up front, but they're both up front on this. You can choose your voltages for your VTX and your camera for it to be either battery power or five volts for both of those, which is awesome. Um, over here, you got your GPS stuff, a spare UART, two spare UARTs. There's six UARTs total. Um, and a five volt and ground. Uh, this back row is all the all the pads for this, as well as LED and buzzer, and five volt and ground. And it's on both sides. They are through holes, so that's really really nice. You got your current and telemetry, and this actually will do six motors. Um, and then over here on this side is probably going to be your receiver stuff. Yep. All your receiver stuff right here. And another UART. I don't really see... Okay, so there's two, six, four, three. That's four. I don't know where the other UARTs are. And what's E stand for? E5 and E6? 
You'd think it would have an M for the motor, because I believe that's for the motors 5 and 6. Don't know about that. Really nice looking flight controller though. And it has bigger gummies. Not too thick. That's nice. I like how the heat sink kind of goes with the uh, plug. And then the bottom is kind of flush, you know, so that's really nice. Makes it nice and thin. So your stack's not going to be too tall with this stack. All right, so you also get... Oh, um, also, I didn't mention uh, the 4-in-1 has a 10-volt BEC coming out of it. And uh, the 5-volt BEC on this is 2-amp. There's your plug. You got some screws right here. What's this? Oh, it looks like a cap. Okay. Oh, those are some long screws. Damn, man. What the hell? Get out of there. All right, so I guess they give you some stack screws, which is nice. Some long steel M3s pretty long uh, nice really long XT60 12 gauge pretty thick and then there's uh, spacers and some aluminum M3 nuts and then they also give you these they look a little bit different than the last ones that I saw the, the last ones didn't weren't white on the bottom I'm not sure what they changed It looks like they just made it to where, I guess maybe the bottom now, you don't have to uh, put anything in between it and the frame. I don't know. That's what it looks like though. Cause it used to be black. Actually I have one. Somewhere. Uh, maybe not. I thought I had one. Well, anyway, you get these, which is nice. They're kind of like a uh, race wire. Cool. So you get quite a bit of stuff, everything that you need, which is really nice, you know? I mean, oh, and then there's the cap. 35 volt, 470. Cool. So yeah, everything you need, I was gonna say, it's it's nice when you get everything you need all in one package, you know, so you're not having to look around for stuff or think that you miss something or are gonna need something because you know that everything, oops, that doesn't go in there. You know that everything's in, the, in this package. I'm not even gonna try to put this together. All right. Yep, that's right. Cool. All right, so that's all I got, I think. Let me uh, go through everything real quick. Okay, so like I said, you got the 10 volt, two amp BEC on the four and one, and then uh, the five volt on the flight controller is two amp as well. It says it has six UARTs, but I only saw four. Oh, the flight controller can do two to eight S, but the four in one can only do three to six S. So that's kind of weird that they paired them together like that with the different voltages, I guess. So I guess even though the flight controller can do two S, you can't actually do two S if you're using it with this four in one. And, uh, I guess if you want to do 8S, you don't want to use this 4-in-1 either, since it can only do 6S. 
but I don't know too many people flying 8S or 2S with a full size stack. So, um, let's see the the weight. The total weight is 25 grams for both of these. Uh, it has 16 megabyte black box, and that's it. It's BL Heli 32. All right, that is it. 